Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. This is another um, reviewing five random perfumes from my collection. Um, let's go ahead and get started with this video. I'm pre-filming a bunch because I'm going to be on a trip for like a week and a half. So I just wanted some things to put out. Uh, I'm trying to do every day, but it might be more like every other day. Um, but anyways, I always try to do like least expensive to most expensive. That being said, I don't always remember what I paid, but I'm going to try. Um, okay, first one we'll start with is this perfume. This is by Adam Levine. Um, this is what it looks like. It's a little microphone. Now, this came in a pack. This is the one fluid ounce. Actually, it doesn't say, but I know it's the one fluid ounce. And it came with a 3.4 fluid ounce, so a big one that looked exactly like this. Um, I gave away the 3.4 because this, it's, it is a good scent. Don't get me wrong. It's a great fall scent. <sighs> Ooh. It's really good. It almost has this powderiness and this like almost um, baby wipe type of scent. Um, but in like a deep way, it's really, really good. Re really like nighttime, deep, like it's a really good scent. Um, it's probably hard to find. I know I found it at Burlington. Um, and I don't know if I said, but this set was $6. It was marked down on clearance, but it was super cheap and it's very unique. I like it a lot. Um, next probably is this Mariah Carey Dreams. This is really good and it was really popular for a while. This is this like soft creaminess with vanilla in it while also being kind of bright. This is a very, very good unique scent and it's actually quite hard to describe. It's sweet and powdery while also being like creamy like vanilla. Um, Mariah Carey Dreams. This one was popular for a long time and I do see why this one's so good. I forget about this one a lot. Mm, but that's so good. It's like a soft sweetness of like creamy sweetness. It's really, really good. Um, Mariah Carey Dreams. You can find this at like Burlington and Ross. I got mine in Burlington, I know, for less than 15. This is a 1.7 fluid ounce. Um, but yeah, really good. Check that one out. It was very popular for a while. Um, so you probably will be able to find it now because um, it was like a while ago that it was very popular. Next is my Eau de Juice Love Unfiltered. This one I got at TJ Maxx quite a while ago. They used to sell them at Ulta. They don't sell them at Ulta anymore, um, this brand. Then they sell them at Walmart and Walgreens now, maybe CVS, I'm not sure. Um, this one, by the way, this pump is on the back and that's the spray right in the middle. Whew. It is strong, but it's like a, it's that alcohol. It must have a high concentration of alcohol in it. Almost to the point where I can't smell literally anything else. And I'm waiting for it to dry down, but that alcohol is still like, whew. Which makes it a strong fragrance on your skin. Hmm. I'm still kind of only getting alcohol, but I know this one's supposed to have like this sweet sugariness to it. And it does. I guess it's kind of showing up now, but um, yeah, there's a lot of alcohol in this one. I can tell they try to make it a strong fragrance. They kind of made it a strong alcohol fragrance with like an undertone of sweetness, maybe fruity. It's hard to describe because you almost can't smell anything else. Hmm. 
Um, I do like other ones from this line. This is the first one I got. And yes, it's very, very strong. Maybe if you wore it for like, I don't know, 30 minutes, like the alcohol scent would be completely gone. Hmm. Yeah, the scent's kind of fading away as the alcohol fades. So um, I need to wear that one more and like test it out better and see, you know, kind of how it like actually smells. But yeah, if you can still find that one, Mm, maybe worth the shot. The other ones in the collection that look exactly like this, like there's an orange one, blue one, pink one, um, yellow one, those are all totally worth it. Um, okay, next most expensive is MAC Turquatic, an ultra popular Y2K fragrance. This is what it looks like. I found mine at a cosmetic company store. I know they're kind of hard to find now. Um, I found it at a cosmetic company store. And I think after the markdowns and stuff, it was 40 I think. Which is a really good price for it because I think it's originally 80 Now, oh yeah, this one's just as good as you'd think. It's called Turquatic. It's aquatic. And it's citrusy. And it's an extremely clean girl, citrusy, like clean, watery fragrance. It really is really beautiful. Oh, it's so like watery, but still has like a bit of strength to it. It's so watery and citrusy and like almost tangy in a way but like the wateriness is kind of like mellowing it out it's a very very clean girl scent I personally love clean scents I love aquatic scents and this is pretty much aquatic and clean with some citrus in it there's no greenness to it because I don't I'm not a huge fan of greenness but this is like a really good clean girl scent it was insanely, insanely popular a while ago. I know people have had a hard time finding it now. Um, I found it at the cosmetic company store. And honestly, I think it is still sold at Sephora. No, no, no. Ulta? Anyways, you can find it online if you try. Um, but yeah, this is a 1.7 fluid ounce. I got it for like 40 or so, I think I said. But yeah very very good pretty unique actually it's like a different kind of clean it's like a clean girl scent that still has like a very you know fragrancy note to it like it doesn't smell like laundry it doesn't smell like shower fresh it's like clean aquatic goodness it's really good <laughs> okay last one for this video is black opium ysl's black opium extreme the reason it is extreme because it's, well, this is the flanker of black opium and it has more of the coffee note, the dark, bitter coffee note and less of the vanilla than the original. So insanely strong, insanely deep, insanely coffee, like bitter coffee. Oh, I spread it on my hand. <laughs> I missed the paper. Very deep, very dark nighttime scent, but still very, very good. <sighs> Has a smoky coffee-ness to it, very bitter coffee. Not sweet at all, like the original. It's very, very coffee-forward, very deep. I didn't like it at first. It's a polarizing scent. Definitely a bitter, deep, deep coffee note. There's no sweetness to this. But yeah, I still really enjoy it and I want to wear it like at nighttime while it's snowing um, and the, when it's dark outside, that's kind of what it reminds me of. I put it in my um, perfumes that I'll be wearing this winter video that is going out on the 28th if it hasn't gone out already. But yeah, that's all five of the random perfumes that I picked from my collection to review and I will be doing this more often. So Thanks for watching. Bye.